we will take up if you have arbitrary motion of thin air foils in incompressible flow okay And I will also describe something called a, as a part of this, <coughs> I will tell you something about finite state models. <coughs> okay. Finite state basically unsteady aerodynamic models. <coughs> See, we knew that for a harmonic oscillation, the lift was given by pi rho b square, this we derived last class, u, al, u infinity alpha dot minus b a alpha double dot plus 2 pi rho u infinity b c f k h dot plus u infinity alpha plus b half minus a alpha dot. Okay. Now, if you leave the, this term, this is the non-circulatory or apparent mass terms. Okay. This is non-circulatory or apparent mass. <coughs> this is the circulatory term. <coughs> okay. Here, the C of k, you know this is the Theodorson lift deficiency function. This particular term, if you look at it, that is nothing but because we have the airfoil, we said this is B, B and our elastic axis is given us, this is that B A okay, from the center, this is our aerodynamic center and this is our h and alpha is this is the alpha. <coughs> if I want the angle of attack, angle of attack effective at 3 fourth card, if I want that then this is nothing but alpha plus the downward velocity here is h dot, then what is that? This is b by 2, 3 fourth is b by 2, b by 2 minus b a. So, you will have h dot plus alpha dot b by 2 minus b a over Now, if you look at this, if I multiply by u infinity, that is nothing but this term. Okay. This is called the up wash, up wash at 3 quarter card C, 3 quarter card. Okay. Sometimes people use a negative sign. W 3 fourth C is negative of this term, people put it upwash. Okay. Technically, you say you take out the u infinity outside, okay. then this is effective angle of attack at 3 quarter card point, but the lift 
is at quarter cut. Please understand, the lift is at quarter cut. This is only for the circulatory term, okay? because this is the only term which contains a frequency parameter which is CFK, which is the Theodorsen's lift deficiency function, k is omega b by u. Okay. Now, <coughs> this is fully time dependent, no problem, but here there is a frequency sitting in. Okay. Now, if I want for arbitrary motion, earlier people thought how do we extend this theory to arbitrary motion means suppose you have a your aerofoil, you give suddenly a step change in the angle of attack and then hold it. That means, you are having 0, you give a step input, how the lift will vary. Okay. That is an arbitrary motion. <coughs> now, how do you get solution for those type of problems? And if you have a gust, vertical gust coming and hitting, how the lift will vary with time. Okay. Now, I will first describe what is the classically what people thought. Later, I will describe the how you can get that solution from finite state unsteady aerodynamic model. Now, that you can use it even for your flutter calculation. It is a very powerful, this is very powerful. <coughs> okay. So, what we do is you know that this is in time please understand, this is a function of time. So, you can call it w 3 fourth c, right. That is the velocity, you can say this is also the fluid velocity, because please understand, I am taking h dot is down, that is the body motion, alpha is the instantaneous angle u infinity alpha, because u infinity is coming this way. I can take a component, which is basically, which is almost like this way. Okay. That is how, and h dot alpha dot, this particular term is body motion, this is due to angle, you can say. Now, this in effect represents the fluid flow coming up at that point, or else you simply take h that this w 3 4 c upwash they will say. It is a general terminology, but they put a minus sign, but here it is not necessary that you have to carry, but so long as you understand what you are doing that is perfectly fine. Now, this is a function of time, h is a function of time, alpha is a function of time, therefore, alpha dot. I am going to call this entire term W 3 4 C T, entire term. This is a function of time. Now, if any, func any function of time can be converted into frequency domain. Okay. Now, I am going to call it in the frequency domain, this is using Fourier transform. Fourier transform W 3 fourth c, which is a function of t, e power minus i. Okay. And inverse is, you will get one over two pi f of omega e power i omega t d t. This is a Fourier transform. Now, what I do is, I say that I know this, I can get the Fourier transform. If I get the Fourier transform, that is in frequency domain f of omega. Now, can I get the, oh sorry, d, d omega, oh, sorry, yeah, I am sorry about that, yeah, yeah, d omega, that is d t, yeah. Thanks. Now, you can get your 
circulatory lift, please understand, I am not looking at the apparent mass term. The circulatory lift, you can write it in frequency domain. Suppose, if you say this is the frequency content of W C T, for every frequency you will have some f of omega, the f of omega is a function, for every omega you will have a magnitude. Okay. That magnitude, if you write it in frequency domain, please understand I am writing now this is frequency domain. So, I will call this term delta L c, that is circulatory left in frequency domain due to at a particular omega, that means it will be only f of omega at that small value f of omega, you can put d omega. Okay. Now, if you integrate, you will get the full over the entire domain. right? Now, you do transform because you know this quantity, you can do the transform. When you do the transform, so I am erasing this part. Okay. If I do the transform, I will have L c of t, because I have to get the transform of this delta L c full integrated over the whole thing. I will have 1 over 2 pi minus infinity to plus infinity. I will have basically delta L c e power i omega t. Okay. So, I can directly write here, this is I will put it delta L c, if you do not want the integral, you can leave out the integral, this is due to only this omega, then you will have e power i Now, I can write this, I will go back and then put it here. I will have 1 over 2 pi will cancel out, I will have rho u infinity b c of k and f omega will be there, t e i omega t d omega this is my L of t. Okay. All right. Now, I can go back and write my expression, lift expression as for arbitrary motion, please understand, it is left as it is, it is pi rho b square h double dot plus u infinity alpha dot minus b a alpha double dot plus rho u b. Okay. Minus infinity plus infinity c k is nothing but omega b by u. omega d omega. Similarly, you can write for moment expression also. Okay. Now, I have lift for any arbitrary motion of the aerofoil, but only problem is how do I get this? Okay. Because I have to get the Laplace transform, sorry the Fourier transform of 
that w 3 4 c and then I should substitute that transform and then do the inverse transform. Okay. Now, this is what uh, initially they started. Now, you see the two points which are important is this is the transform of Fourier transform of this, but lift is at quarter card that is why three quarter card point and quarter card point they are actually called uh, forward and rearward neutral points. It was a term uh, introduced by Kushner. Okay. Now, I will come to somebody this was a challenging problem initially first they thought that I will give you one particular problem. There are two types of problems which are solved. Okay. One is Wagner problem of step change in angle of attack. That means, W 3 4 C T is 0 for T less than 0, this becomes u infinity alpha 0 for T greater than 0, this is a step input. Okay. Now, you know my H double dot alpha dot all those are 0. Okay, it is just a step. Now, for this you can get f of omega, because f of omega is minus infinity plus infinity w 3 4 c t, which is u infinity alpha naught, okay. but anyway minus infinity is not there. So, this will become, because the function does not exist before e power d t. This if you integrate this will be actually u infinity alpha naught over i omega, because you have to set because e i omega, because this is a constant e to the power minus i omega t divided by i omega minus you put a minus sign then set the limits okay then you will get that value now you can take this and substitute here you will know that l of t becomes because the, all these terms are zero so you will have rho u infinity b integral minus infinity to plus infinity cf f of omega is nothing but u infinity alpha naught over i omega d omega. Okay. Now, what you do is you convert this, you put a b by u, you put a b by u, you multiply. Okay. Hmm. e power yeah e to the power i omega t that omega also you put a b by u into u by b into t okay yeah yeah thanks all right now this will be converted into l of tau please understand I am putting tau is non dimensional time u over b into t okay. and omega b by u infinity u over actually you have to take u infinity I am sorry about that. Okay. This 
this is nothing but k, this is also k. So, you will have you can take out the u infinity alpha naught outside. Okay. So, you will have rho u infinity square b alpha naught integral minus infinity plus infinity c f k over i k e to the power i k tau d k. Okay. All right. Now, you can multiply denominator by 2 pi and numerator by 2 pi. This particular expression is written in this fashion, this is given as 2 pi rho u infinity square b alpha naught phi tau. This is called sometimes it is called Wagner function, okay, or indicial response function, okay. that is this function is you multiply divide by 2 pi, multiply by 2 pi. So, you can do that, this is 2 pi, here you will have a 2 pi and this particular term is this. Okay. Now, I will give you, <coughs> people have obtained, you know that this function c of k you know it, it is given in terms of Henkel functions, which are in terms of Bessel functions of uh, first and second kind. They have given approximations of this function to this p of tau. Okay. That approximation is, I will just write the approximation, several people did even, uh, well I have also done that, that is why I I introduce how we calculated that I will tell you by the next approach. Jones, okay. he gave this approximation 1, that is, this is all approximate 0 0.165 e to the power minus 0 0.0455 tau minus 0 0.335 e to the power minus 0 0.3 tau. See, there are several, this is by Jones, then there is a Dowell's approximation. Now, I will write my, our approximation, what we got. This is actually, I will put it, one point, we have several orders of approximation, we developed 1 minus 0 0.309 e to the power minus 0. 0 0.0965 tau minus 0 0.191 minus 0 0.4555 tau. This is by me and uh, my professor. Okay. I will give the reference and we have several approximations. Okay, we also have third order approximation, that means three terms are there. How we obtain, I will tell you, because I know what this particular thing, this is they have done some approximation, something they assumed and then try to calculate, but how this function looks, that is the most important thing. Okay. That is, this is tau. This is phi of tau. When tau is 0, 
it is 0.5. Okay. So, the function starts with 0.5 and it ends at 1.0 and it will go like this. Okay. Asymptotically, it will reach 1. Okay. That means, when I give a step angle of attack, but please understand, I am my these functions will give a very good result. But I will tell you the procedure how we got it, okay? Because ours is much more uh, elegant and uh, highly, I would say, uh, physically meaningful things. Okay, there is some mathematical basis for how we obtain. So the, this is called the now you know in a fixed wing case whenever you have a change in angle of attack a step change in angle of attack the lift will not suddenly become this value because alpha net is the angle of attack right it will not suddenly become lift is equal to alpha net it will take some time and then it will reach asymptotically like this okay that is because of the wake structure on the other hand see that is uh, much earlier the, our time we published in 1986 84 86 period in the case of a helicopters it's a little different if you change the angle of attack rotating this will go up and then down. Okay. That is the difference between the helicopter and fixed wing. So, for helicopters we gave the first, it is part of that paper that is why I have given this also we got, we got for a helicopter also. Now, that is the different characteristic of the your system, the aerodynamics associated with that. Okay for a step and there is a experimental evidence for helicopters. That is how this became very you know, fundamental work. But now I will briefly describe how we obtained this. I okay, will give the references, two references, then you will know and uh, <coughs> it is a very cute, I would call it very elegant. Okay. I leave this part, let us throw it out, but this I <coughs> will take it as finite state models okay, of unsteady aerodynamics, again compressible theory, nothing else, okay. because there is uh, not much time left, I thought I will directly go there. What we have is, we got what? L c of t is, this is only circulate, leave out the upper and mass term, that will always be taken, rho u infinity b, you have 2 pi c of k h dot plus u infinity alpha plus half minus a b alpha dot. This is as usual W T. Okay. Now, I am going to call this, if I write in, this is Q of T, some function, this is W 3 4 C, I use the symbol Q. Q is the velocity at three quarter card point and lift is happening in between there is a C f k. I said that control theory there is an input, there is an output that means in between this is the transfer function and this is given in time domain. Now, if I want to convert into Laplace domain, I will simply have what? L c of s Laplace, 
that will be 2 pi rho u infinity b c of s, c of s is please understand Theodorson lift deficiency function applicable for entire Laplace domain. This is C f k is given when the Laplace variable is only imaginary part, the real part is 0 okay. and then I am putting it as q of s, okay. where s is sigma plus i omega, because this is what Laplace variable is. The moment sigma is 0, this is nothing but the Laplace becomes the Fourier. Okay. Now, we know C of k is omega b over u infinity r your omega is u over b k. Okay. Now, C of s becomes C of i omega when sigma is 0, okay. because sigma is 0 this is i omega, i omega is nothing but what? Omega is C of i u by b k, u infinity sorry. which I can call it as C of k, that is what I am normally I call this, okay. because I say this is C of k, C of k, k is i k, that is all, because Theodore's and lift deficiency function is a complex, because you know that this is nothing but h 1 2 k over h 1 2 k plus i h 0 2 k, this is the Theodore's lip deficiency function which is given in terms of Hankel functions. Now, I am going to say hey, I can represent them by rational approximation. Okay, rational approximation means I am going to write C of i k as some I have used a different uh, stuff. Okay. Maybe I will use the same thing A 1 okay. A 1 I can say I because this is omega, omega I can put omega, omega I know u infinity by b over k. So, I will put this particular thing I omega, what is that? Okay, I can change it. Let me do one small change. Okay. C of i k, I will put it a 2 i k whole square a 1 plus a 2 i k We not, I will say A 1 B 2 K plus B. That means, this is a rational approximation. This is like any Laplace, any transfer function, because you know that if you are given a transfer function C of s, what will you do? You will write it as a ratio of polynomials, okay. say a n s power n plus blah blah blah, then b n s power n plus blah 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 b 0, sorry a 0 plus b 0. Okay. This is called the rational approximation of C of i k. 
Okay. Huh? No, no, no. I can take that into that because I can take as a constant. I can take it out. It doesn't matter. Okay. I can always because this B one I can take it out and then put. Now you know. I can find out what are the values of a 1, a 2, a 3, b 2, b 3, because I know this function, right. I know this. So, I can always find by curfitting. Now, I can write to any approximation, but there are certain characteristics features. Characteristic feature is, you know that C of k, which is given as f of k plus i g of k, because this is known real part, imaginary part. f of k goes from 1 to 0.5, that is your, if you plot f of k versus k, it starts from 1, it comes to 0.5 this is 1.0, this is 0.5 and the g of k, it goes up and then it comes down like this. This is around 0.2 or something like that. Okay. Now, you, I know these values, how they vary. That means, at high frequency, my value becomes 0.5. At low frequency, low means when k is 0, k is 0, a 3 by b 3 plus b 1. Okay. When I go to k infinity, that means, this is gone, a 1 becomes 0.5, because I know that this is 0.5. So, I can, knowing the transfer function, I can fit a ratio of polynomials. This is called the rational approximation of your uh, Theodore's and lip deficiency function. So, I used, because you can get all these things from Bode plot, knowing the nature, Bode plot is real part, imaginary part as a function of omega, that is what you plot. Okay. You can take it to the 20 log 10, something like that, in dBs you can put it, but that gives how your transfer function form is okay. and it will also tell you where the poles of the transfer function must be, where the zeros of the transfer function should be. Okay. You can immediately figure out all the poles and zeros from the magnitude and phase diagram and then once you know you can easily fit these values. Okay. Once I fitted then the function I will give you uh, final result, okay. So that that way, what we fitted was C of k. C of k became for me 0 0.5 i k plus 0 0.135 and i k plus 0 0.651 and divided by i k plus 0 0.0965 i k plus 0 0.4555. Okay. This approx I can have third order approximation also, I have a third order also. Okay. There are, you can have any order now. Okay. So, I actually fitted second order, third order, but third order it is almost exactly matching with the C of k, Theodorson's function, exact. Even second order is reasonably close, but first order it will use a lot of error. So you can have any order approximation. <coughs> now you see the zeros. This is like a transfer function. I k you replace to s. This is any transfer function between input output. Okay. And these are the poles and these are the zeros of the transfer function and it will fit exactly at that location 0 you can't put you don't have to put arbitrarily what jones and other people did was they kept arbitrarily the poles so 
So, our research was hey, it is not necessary, you do not have to do that, because they did not use the control theory approach, okay. they were just trying to fit the curve. Whereas, we brought the control theory and then finally, it fitted very nicely and then this is now useful even for, now you can do time domain analysis, you do not have to do VG method, you directly use this, go can go and do flutter calculation just by eigenvalue problem in time domain, full. You have a time domain unsteady aerodynamic model, but incompressible flow, it is valid. Okay. That is why if time permits, I would have asked you to do time domain flutter calculation. We did the calculation, we got very good results. VG method, this method, everything will be fine, you will get very excellent results. Now, let us see, why, why do we call it finite state? Okay. I will just use okay, this, let me, okay, here I, I erase all this part. You have L c of s is rho u infinity b 2 pi. Now, I am, there is a q of s, c of s, I have, please understand this is i omega, that is in k. Okay. So, you know that between the relation between k and omega because you know omega b over u infinity is k or in other words omega becomes u infinity b k. Okay. You can use any one of the forms that does not matter. So, I am using 0 0.5. S B by U 0 0.135, because please understand, this is I k okay. by multiplying the I k, hmm, I want omega, okay. I want S. So, you have to multiply by b by u, okay. because if you multiply by b by u, what happens? b by u omega is k, right. So, that is how this becomes, because i omega, s is equal to i omega and this becomes i k, that is what that expression is, okay. into s b over u plus 0 0.651 over s b over u plus 4555 into q of s. Now, please understand, what we have done is, we have fitted the curve, curve means I got this approximation on the, because if I draw the s plane, this is sigma, this is i omega, this is your s plane, Laplace plane. I know the function c f k, the transfer function only along this axis, imaginary, because c of k, k is omega v by u, I know c of k only on this axis, I do not know at other places. What is done is, you fit the curve in this line and then you say that I am assuming that the same function is applicable for the entire Laplace domain. 
this is an assumption which we make okay because we don't have c of s please understand we have only c of k you you, you follow but then you fit only c of k that is why k fitted but here what i have done i have actually extrapolated it to say that it is valid over the entire laplace domain this is an assumption in the absence of any transfer function because transfer function what you do because it is a linear theory please understand linear theory laplace domain once you have because it is perfectly valid you take the laplace whenever you put s is equal to i omega you get the frequency response okay so the linear control theory you can directly apply and here that is what we have done i have fitted the curve on the omega and i expanded to full s domain okay which is from the control theory it is perfectly fine because it is a linear problem okay you, you understand now can you write a differential equation for this you can write and once you know q of s q of s you take a laplace inverse laplace inverse there are various ways of doing it you take this you multiply here you will get a differential equation in lift lc dot lc because s square will become double dot is equal to q dot q double dot and some q okay i have a time domain model once i know how q varies with time i can immediately get lift how it varies with time okay so this is perfectly a valid theory it is useful for all control studies okay if you want to do active control thing because you need to know the uh, transfer function use the control theory to come up with a basically closed loop control so this is what our study was i'll give the two references which uh, we have used i thought i maybe you can have a where is it oh, yeah this is the so one is uh, i'll just write okay this is friedman okay and the title is a new approach to to finite state modeling of unsteady aerodynamics okay this is uh, aiaa journal this is volume 24 number 12 1986 okay and page number pp 1889 1897 okay and the second one second one is actually what we did with uh, that is with the lakshman because we what we did was this is for attached flow only we extend to even stall okay that is this lakshman and uh, okay this is chaotic response of of an air coil due to aero elastic coupling and dynamic stall okay and dynamic stall this is again a double a this is volume uh, 45 okay number 1 is 2007 and this is pp 271 to 280 okay 
So, actually this is a, if you look at the time gap, this was in 86, okay. this is 2007, almost 21 years, all right. But this we extend to dynamic stall, it is, it is similar, but dynamic stall is nonlinear. please understand. But we use the similar thing, but we also use the French uh, on Onera dynamic stall model. Actually, we updated that model. So, we call it as a modified Onera dynamic stall model or you can call it improved model, okay. but the concept is same. All right. So, this is what is called the finite state modeling of unsteady aerodynamics and this is a very powerful method. And this has been, I, I heard that uh, this is being uh, uh, taught in some of the universities, because the same thing, because the idea is, is it clear, you got the picture. Huh? Now, I, I can do the plus and I will get inverse Laplace then I know L C that this may be a differential equation, but if I do not want in a differential equation form, what I will do is I will add the expand this, put it and then I will call this as another name, I have a differential equation for this. This is called the finite state model, because finite state is, these are the finite states, states of the aerodynamic models. Now, when you do eigenvalue analysis, you will start getting eigenvalues, which may not have the frequency or whatever you will get it, that will not have a corresponding structural value. Then you say this is due to aerodynamic modes. Okay, this is in some helicopter, we have done that study, we found that there are some modes, that is through dynamic uh, inflow model. Okay, you can get some in the experiment that was measured, but there was no structural mode associated with that. Okay. So, you will find that it is possible to get aerodynamic modes okay. and uh, if you want I will write that uh, modified form, because you write it that first uh, expression L c of s rho u infinity b 2 pi, you put it in this fashion, a 1, okay. I am writing it directly in a different uh, fashion, okay. a 1 s b by u whole square plus a 2 s b by u plus a 3 over S B over U whole square plus B 2 S B over U plus B 3, this is Q of S. What I do is, this I, I can, this is basically this is a product, you multiply you will get this form. You go back and write like this, A 1 s b by u whole square plus b 2 s b by u plus b 3. Then you subtract a 2 minus a 1 b 2 s b by u plus a 3 minus a 1 b 3 divided by denominator is same. b 2 s b over u plus b 3 into q of s. Okay. This is 1, you will get L c of s becomes rho u infinity b 2 pi a 1 q of s plus you open a bracket you put a 2 minus a 1 b 2 s b over u plus a 3 minus a 1 b 3. Okay. 
you write q of s over s b over u whole square plus b 2 s b over u plus b 3. Okay. Now, you see this particular term, if you call it as some x of s, this you call it x of s, then what will have? I will have my time domain L c of t becomes rho u infinity b 2 pi a 1 q of t plus a 2 minus a 1 b 2 b over u x dot because s x x Laplace inverse x dot plus a 3 minus a 1 b 3 x. Okay. These are functions of time. Now, you have to get that what is x of t? x of t you will get actually you are writing what x of let me write it this way s b over u whole square x of s plus b 2 s b over u what x of s plus b 3 x of s is q of s. Okay. Now, inverse you will get x double dot b over u whole square plus what this will be b 2 b over u x dot plus b 3 x equals q of t. So, this is my equation. This can be written again in state space form. So, if I know q of t, I can get x of t, then I know x of t. These are aerodynamic states, additional aerodynamic states, because you see L c of t is not only a function of q of t, okay. it is also a function of this x 1, which are driven by again q of t. Okay. And these are the additional states of the aerodynamic model, that is why it is called finite state. You can have, now you see I made a second order approximation. Okay. If I make a third order approximation, this equation will become third order okay. and I can have any order, you can go on. So, step input, you can put q of t and then put it in Laplace domain, do the inverse Laplace transform, you will get the same result as what was obtained by Jones other people, but only thing is the coefficients are different because we obtain from uh, applying the control theory between input output there is a transfer function. So, the aerodynamics act like a transfer function, that c of k is a transfer function. Okay.